Hello, I'm Mark, owner of this workshop, and this workshop also serves as the set for the Hand Plane Challenge video series. Today, I want to make a video that's different, only remotely related to the Hand Plane Challenge video series. What I want to do in an upcoming video for the Hand Plane Challenge video series is describe how I sharpen plane blades, of course, including those used in the planes featured on the Hand Plane Ch Challenge video series. So, uh, you know, that one will be coming up. Stay tuned. Not done yet. But, as part of my sharpening system, there's also going to be a product critique. And I didn't want the product critique to get mixed up with the details of how I sharpen plane blades. So I thought I'd just make whip out a quickie video uh, doing the product critique and we'll get that out of the way before moving on to the main sharpening video. So without further ado, Here's the product that I'm featuring. Okay, so here is the product in question. My bench grinder. This is a deluxe system sold by Wood Turner's Wonders. Um, as you know from my previous videos, I am somewhat of a frugal individual. However, this bench grinder was my retirement gift. Some guys ask for a gold watch, I ask for a bench grinder. So I got the best one that Wood Turner's Wonders offered. Of course, I didn't pay for any of it, so that helped. <coughs> okay, so I've got, we've got a 180 grit wheel on one side and a 600 grit wheel on the other. That was, I was heavily influenced, I'll say, by uh, James Hamilton of Stumpy Nubs. He has undue influence over me. This was his recommendation. And honestly, I'd say it's a good recommendation. I've been pretty pleased with the setup. Now, this bench grinder is perhaps more used by turners. And I use it as well for sharpening my turning tools. Um, we're not going to talk about that today. Maybe d way down the road we'll do a, a comparison between it and uh, a Wolverine system. Like um, I should say this is the Kodiak sharpening system that comes with these. So maybe way down the road we'll do a comparison with the Wolverine system, but that would be way out in the future, so don't know if we'll ever get there. However, it's not used just for turning tools. You can also sharpen chisels and plain blades, and, uh, and it has some features that make that very nice. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so now I've zoomed in on the 180 grit wheel, which has the sharpening tool rest attached to it right at the moment. Now, I love this whole system to death, don't get me wrong, and, and I haven't actually fed any of this back to Wood Turner's Wonders. I just sort of, I went and did a little correction on my own. So this tool rest for the sharpening system is got a slight flaw to it, and that's what I'm going to describe today, and that's what I didn't want to get, have complicate the main sharpening video uh, that we're going to talk about that will be in the next video. So the problem here is the way this is supposed to be used is you set you, this it has this platform here that moves back and forth in this slot so that you can put your plane blade here and 
move it back and forth like this. What really helps in this feature is it has angle settings built into the platform which make it very nice for setting any particular angle that you want reproducibly even. Now here's Here's what I didn't like about this system. Love the angle setting feature, use it all the time, especially for the turning tools. But with for the plane blades, you're supposed to do this. The problem, there are two problems that I've had with this. One is this slot is not long enough. So as you go towards the end, because of the radius in the corner of the CBN wheel here, it, it doesn't reach all the way to the end of the, the, the bevel. It's hard to see right here, but there's about a maybe an eighth of an inch on this side not contacting the wheel. So there it's fine on that side you can get the whole bevel but not on that side so what I've found that I had to do with this is sharpen on this side then move this thing over to this side so that the part that wasn't sharpened before is now sharpened on this side but now this side has the same problem not hitting the whole wheel so if you didn't do anything about it, let's say if you left it only in one place, well, you would have like a little ear on your plane blade out here where it didn't get sharpened. You were grinding the rest of the bevel and you left off that last eighth of an inch. So, so like I say, that necessitated sharpening one side, then moving to the other side and sharpening that side. Then secondly, um, you of course are intended to hold it in there with your hand. There's no mechanical hold down associated with it. And I found that especially when you had to move it back and forth, that created, you know, it just I was ending up not giving, getting, you know, smooth, even, continuous sharpening all the way across the bevel. So there you have it. Everything I like I say, love everything about this, but that is a problem. Now, it's not a problem on the 600 uh, grit wheel because that one's wider. So no problem, but I don't like to sharpen my primary gr bevels on this on the 600 grit wheel. For one thing, an advantage of a CBN wheel is that um, it's supposed to like remove heat and not heat up as much. However, the 600 grit wheel is so fine that you can certainly easily, if you leave a plane blade there too long, you know, it'll overheat because it's just got so much more friction because of the small grain size. Um, you can avoid it. I mean, it's you know if you if you are very careful to you know do it for just a few seconds and then cool the thing in water and keep going like that, it'll be okay. But uh, I like to use the coarser wheel to grind the primary bevel. So next up, we'll see what I've been doing instead of that. Okay, so here's what I do instead. I've taken the, the platform off of the Wolverine system and fortunately it fits just in the same slot as the Kodiak, as the Kodiak sharpening system. So that turned out to be fortuitous. So this is the Wolverine system. You have to be careful the arm on it isn't quite as long so you have to make sure you engage it 
in the front and back channels to make sure it's held securely. Um, then I made a holder out of some T-track cutoffs. Got a piece of sandpaper, adhesive back sandpaper here. I put it in there like that. Hang on just a second, so we'll put it all together. And uh, we'll just kind of do a quickie on how this works. Now what I also have done is I've made myself a little guide with angles on it. This is made out of a thin piece of plastic that they use for signs. You can see that here. So there's my 30 degree angle. And I use that lay it flat on the platform and adjust the angle so that I'm sure I'm getting 30 degrees on the wheel. And we'll go into this in a little more detail in the sharpening video. But I'm just giving a, 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 a quickie here so that you'll see how it all works. Now here's our holder. We lay it in here like this, put the blade flat on the platform and move it up until it contacts the wheel. Lightly tighten down the thumb screws. Now, this side is at a right angle to this side. It wasn't that way exactly. I had to dress the top end here a little bit to make sure that it was a perfect right angle. So now it's pretty easy to just line that up so that it's a perfect right angle at the right place where it works on the grinder. Tighten the thumb screws securely. Now it's, you can see that it slides back and forth all the way across the top of that platform. and works like that. Now, I'm not going to do the whole process here. That's basically enough to show you how it works. That's my system for holding the plane blade while I'm grinding it to have a 30 degree bevel and then subsequently once I've got that bevel established I take it to the water stones and hone it using the hollow grind method. But like I say, we're, we're going to cover that all in great detail in the next video. Okay, so that's it for my critique of the Wood Turner's Wonders sharpening system. Um, had to make a little tweak on it to make it work, but now I like it. I, I, I like the way I've modified it much better and it works it, it, it's what I use to sharpen every one of my plane blades so that's all I'm going to go into we're going to go with as I've said already we're going to go into more details in the main sharpening video so stay tuned and we'll see you next time on the hand plane challenge video channel <laughs>